But tonight we don't have the fans in. It's very strange with an empty stadium. It's a shame for your debut that it had to be this way. But nonetheless, you put on a really good show. How was it with the quiet room and hearing your trainers really, really clearly? How was that for you? Uh, I think it was for me better, uh, especially for the ground, because I'm, uh, I'm not, not used to uh, do a uh, ground job. And, and uh, it was very good that I, I li listened to them and I, I hear them. So I think for me, it was good. Mark, tell me a little bit about your ground game and how that was developing over, over your camp. I was, uh, on, on, in the fight, I was only trying to control uh, my position and uh, don't do anything that uh, can screw it up. So <laughs> that was my plan. And it's very rare to have a, a scorpion crunch like that um, in MMA. Um, how, tell me, go through the uh, finish and how. Um, what was your kind of your your uh, your uh, game plan going into that? Yeah, but uh, my coaches tell, were telling, telling me that I was losing this round and uh, I was on the back, and I knew that I have I have to try something that that can surprise her. So I try that technique at, at uh, and it worked. So. It wasn't my game plan, plan all, all the long, but I tried by chance. Okay, one last question. You're one of the tallest straw weights uh, right now in the division. I mean, tell me a little bit about the cut and how you feel at this weight. Well, we were supposed to go 52 kilos, but uh, she, my, but my opponent uh, told that she won't go 52 with me and uh, I have to do 48. So. Uh, I uh, did my diet on, on, on the food. I lose five kilos uh, uh, from not, not eating as well. But, and uh, two, two more kilos I, I was doing on the water. So it was, it was first time for me to go 48, but uh, I managed it somehow with good team. Andrew? Congratulations on the win, Monica. I got to ask you about the submission. Was this something you, uh, did you ever uh, try this submission uh, in practice, in training camp? Um, if you haven't, can you just tell us how you saw the opening to try this incredibly rare, rare Scorpion, Scorpion uh, Crunch submission? Uh, thank you. Uh, it was, I was training this technique, I think, two times, like five or five minutes, not, not so, not so, not so many times, but uh, I saw this technique uh, in our show in Slovakia. Uh, Octagon MMA, that one female fighter, did uh, this to her opponent, which uh, which uh, she hasn't uh, beat. Uh, she wasn't skilled in the ground and in the work. It was also my first time that I saw this technique in the fight that worked, and so I tried that if if it is really that good. And was that your goal for the fight? Was to basically uh, basically keep her on the ground and try to finish her that way, way rather than the stand up? Um, no, <laughs> oh. no, no. I I wanted to do only the stand up fight. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go to the ground because I'm not good at the ground. So so uh, I don't know <laughs> what I wanted to say. But uh, my my game plan was to stand on the stand up because okay. there I am feeling good and I'm feeling strong. I didn't want to do, go to the ground. So this is for me a uh, very unexpected. <laughs> Luis, how important was for you made to your debut in Bellator? I was very surprised that uh, they called me for a fight because I don't have any MMA fight at all. And it was for me a very big honor because uh, before me only one Slovak guy was on Bellator and uh, no one else were from, from my country. So. For, for the whole Slovakia is a big big thing and I was really honored to to get this opportunity to uh, to um, to uh, uh, let people see my 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 performance uh, do you have plans for your future uh, maybe uh, another opponent uh, before this fight I I, I uh, was telling that I won't go MMA like for one or two years because I'm not used to do uh, the I'm not used to do grappling and, and this stuff, but then uh, the offer from Bellator came, so and I said yes, and I really don't know uh, what else to come because I I want to do also stand up fights, but after this win, I maybe I I will also try MMA a little more.